Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. Still just uh, getting chilled when I see that animal. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, continued on, just a few days left before the 13th, obviously the open. A lot to do, we'll uh, talk more about that later, but I'm gonna go ahead and continue to move things around today, get some new stuff. This is one of my favorite enclosures in the entire place. Not sure if the animal I'm about to move into it is gonna stay here forever, but uh, an animal I wanted to get back over to the Reptarium that had spent quite a bit of time here, of course, Sunfire. So uh, let's go ahead, get this enclosure set up uh, and bring her over and see. She's gonna look really good in here. Will I eventually switch it up? I'm not sure yet. I also have a few other things I'm gonna be moving around today, getting into the Reptarium, uh, and uh, I have an idea. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Uh, later on, I'll tell you about it, and we'll give it a shot. We all know that retics like to climb, so the fact that she has a bunch of ridges, this log right here and stuff like that could be really good. I mean, I think her colors are gonna really pop in here. Originally, I had a different idea for this enclosure, but uh, let's give it a shot. I think that, you know, I wanted to get her back on display because she's such a cool animal, uh, and she deserves a, a place where she can climb and have a great time. So let's just go get her, get her in here and see what happens. And she is such a pretty girl. I mean, I always loved her when she was over at the Rev Care. We didn't take her out as much as we probably should have, so I have a feeling with this enclosure, we'll be able to get to her a little bit. This enclosure should be even better, and she's gotten even more docile since she's been over there, so this should make a great addition over there, so let's just give it a shot. Let's go ahead and let her go. Probably maybe I'll let her go up on the branch. Just like all retics, right? Straight up. I mean, that's the thing that's so incredible about retics. They love to climb. And I know that Lori gets on me a little bit about having too many retics at the Reptarium. But the truth is, is that, you know, there's so much variety in retics, you know? They all look different. And after all, I mean, a big snake is so impressive. I mean, trying to cover the bases with lizards and amphibians and tortoises and turtles. And, uh, you know, I think Big snakes are an eye catcher, and I love them, and people love to come in and experience them. Yeah, we do kind of have a lot of retakes. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that, by the way. And uh, in the meantime, she looks incredible. Look at how she's just gripping that wall. And this is actually probably the better enclosure for her because when she was in Ivy's old enclosure, it was a huge enclosure, but it wasn't really tall, right? These guys like to climb. They like to get up. To be honest with you guys, I wasn't sure if this was going to work. I now think this is the right snake for the enclosure. Let me know what you guys think. And, uh, she looks unbelievably wonderful here. And I want to talk to you guys in just a little bit about an experiment that we're about to undertake. Hmm. Oh my God, yeah. All right, well, what I have here is a rack that our stuffed snakes are going to hang on. So I got to figure out how to put it together. This should be fun. <laughs> Good luck out there. I know. Come on, I, I'm not, I don't feel proud about letting someone get you on the wall. Metal screws are these. You want me to do this? How is that that's, I think that's for these right here. Well, good that you can say it, but I'm saying none of the things in the supplies show ones with wing nuts. All of the pieces are right here. So who cares then? We'll come across them and we'll come across them. That's, that's good. <laughs> I'm assuming this doesn't have that thing on it though, but it's the only self-locking Allen head screw. Look like I have an Allen key. Do you have an Allen key? Yes. <laughs> Do you have an you Allen key? You don't have one, Chris? Brian. I thought it would come with it. Yeah, well here's the bag. I thought it would come with what it says, but guess what? It came with these. I'm so 
proud of you for building this whole thing. By myself? Yeah. By myself, too. I think it's good, man. It's just building a display, you know? It's cool that, like, you did this I all know. by yourself. Now without you get to look help. at it every time and say, like, I, I built that. Without help. Without any help. By Cobra. Patrick, Patrick. Patrick, any clue? I'm so confused. <laughs> no, are you for real? No. Quiet. Quiet. I'll be right there. Don't say a word. Guys, I'm pretty excited about this. Ben, I want you to come over here. Okay. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Take a look, guys. Nice. This was a surprise clutch from a mangra. I knew they were breeding. I knew they were swelling up. But uh, this girl laid. We didn't even have a nest box in because we didn't realize that she was this close to being <laughs> ready to lay. I'm going to try to take these out without her getting too upset at me. But I wanted to share this experience with my friends over here, Ben and Lorenzo over here. How you doing? They're my buddies. <laughs> and uh, I, we worked this project together and it is pretty exciting. So we got two, four, six, eight, nine eggs. Nice. What? Seven nice. eggs was the largest clutch I've nice. ever had. They're a little dimpled, but not too bad. We caught them in time. So how exciting is that, guys? The awesome. first eggs of the year. That is so Mangrove awesome. Mangrove eggs. So now we only have a hundred and something days for them to hatch. Yeah. So three and a half months from now, we'll be uh, showing you guys some baby mangroves. We have a couple other females. Look like they're going to lay any time. Now I've got to get nest box in with them, but I'm over the top happy. Pretty wild, guys. Uh, you can see Lilith is right down here by Nova. And the only time she comes down is when it's breeding season so it's getting close to uh, maybe getting some more eggs from these guys for this season remember last year they kind of had a late season only had two clutches typically they'll do three and even four clutches so the fact that Lilith is coming down uh, makes me believe she's starting to kind of get into a cycle and uh, maybe we'll get more than just two clutches this year from these guys that's pretty exciting like I said she never comes down and uh, yesterday I spotted her down and then this morning again with Nova Obviously, the Amazon Basin is doing well. We got to get uh, misting systems, obviously, on her, as well as a bunch of other stuff. And everything is settling in really well. Super happy about it. Obviously, salt and pepper. <laughs> pepper, hey, buddy, what are you doing? Uh, it's really good to see this type of stuff. Of course, we've got the Cuban cross up here doing well. Moo Moo down here is doing amazing. We know Al Machino has been, uh, he was like the oldest resident, right? <laughs> think so as things are getting settled in, it's, uh, it's cool to kind of see how they're doing. The iguanas are such a huge hit. I mean, everyone from the crew loves them. They're so interesting because they just hang out on the walls. Uh, obviously, we know that Ivy has just loved her enclosure. Interestingly enough, this morning I came in and I just put some plants in here just as placeholders. They're going to get set in permanently. But I came in this morning and all the plants were kind of rearranged, telling me she is coming out at night and kind of exploring. Uh, I'd love to get a camera on her sometime. So uh, things are going well. The turtles obviously are still hiding out, but they're getting a little bit more kind of curious and they're coming up a little bit more often so things are going good obviously spending time at the old reptarium is always amazing as well but i did want to check on the bells monitor really quick uh still hanging out up here really coming a lot of intelligence and socialization is going on really good oh by the way hi perdita <laughs> so things are coming together pretty well the animals are all settling in really good which is really the thing that i'm always the most concerned about and uh you know making sure that everything is super healthy obviously hey bella hi baby hey elvis the truth is that's the original reptarium uh things were you know you gotta adjust, right? Vast majority of animals do really well, but every now and then you get an animal that just doesn't like the new environment, and maybe it's a little bit stressed out, stuff like that. So, so far so good with the new expansion. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated, but so far everything seems to be doing amazing. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention that Diddy and Dixie have been loving their new enclosure too. Uh, they're out right now. They're just soaking up the morning sun right now, and that's one of the things that's really cool. The sun rises this way, so they come out and they can bask in the actual sun, get a little UV in them, so uh, it, it's, it's coming together really well. Obviously, potato is always hugely 
popular here at the Reptarium. And remember, we used to have a northern blue tongue skink named Irwin that was over. And then we just, you know, moved it out because we were like, we needed room, you know. Uh, we, we had other animals that needed to go into enclosures. So Irwin ended up going back over to BHB. Well, guess what? Irwin also is going to come back over. I'm excited because the one thing about potato that's a little bit tough is it doesn't like to eat for people. So a lot of times we offer feedings when we're open and people want to feed potato and it's just so lazy. It just doesn't eat often. So Irwin was always really good. So another option for kids or whoever that can feed an animal. So Irwin's a little bit more lively too. So it'll be cool. So let's get this cage set up and uh, we'll go get Irwin and release it back over here. And there'll be another animal uh, kind of checking off the list of empty enclosures. I'll get some plants in here and a little bit of a hiding spot for him as well and uh, let him kind of settle in for a little bit. But for now, I just wanted to get him in here. It looks awesome. Kids are going to love it. You guys ready for that experiment? So a lot of my zookeeper friends and zoos that I travel to talk about a lot of cohabitating of uh, animal species, stuff like that. So uh, I've always been trying to think like, how can we do that to take that kind of zoo approach? And uh, you guys remember the first animals we kind of got, you know, donated here were those red foot tortoises that are living over at BHB right now. We've been trying to think, where do we put them? Now, these guys aren't a desert tortoise, right? They're a higher humidity, subtropical, tropical forest type of a tortoise. They come from the same region as the iguanas do. So I thought to myself, you know, this might be a really cool enclosure because iguanas stay up top. They're always going to be in the trees, on the wall, stuff like that. They really don't spend any time on the ground. So the tortoises can be on the ground. Also, they eat a very similar diet, you know, a little higher protein for the tortoises, but uh, the iguanas can have a little protein as well. So so we can have a food bowl up here for the iguanas and then food down here for the tortoises. The only thing I have to keep an eye on is can I get the UV to penetrate far enough in the basking light? It's going to be something I'm going to have to work on a little bit, but I think I'm going to go ahead and move the tortoises in here, see how they do over the next week or so, and then we can decide if this experiment works, you know? So, uh, and I think it'll be really cool because kids can be down here seeing the tortoises. We can bring them out and stuff like that. It should be pretty dope. So uh, let's just go ahead and get them and see what happens. And these guys really should love this huge enclosure for them to kind of walk around and stuff like that. Definitely a nice upgrade for the way they've been kept for a while. So let's just go ahead and see what they do. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I mean, it just kind of came to me when I was thinking about like, where am I going to put the red foot tortoises? And I thought, you know, this could be perfect. It, again, kind of goes to what all my zoo friends keep telling me are cool at zoos. You know, cohabitation, you know, you get different layers. I mean, some zoos even keep like dart frogs and, and venomous snakes or, or tree boas in the same habitat. So, uh, I mean, they look so cool. Look at, they're just cruising around. Oh my God, I think this is gonna really bring a lot more life to this enclosure too, because now we have the arboreal side with the iguanas and we have the terrestrial side with the tortoises. So again, we'll just see how they kind of fare. We'll give them a little bit of time to settle in. And uh, what do you think, Lori? Oh my God, they're so cute. I keep seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> they're so cute, aren't they? I think this is gonna work out really well. Yeah, actually, I'm so shocked that was actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> See how it goes. Yeah. Hopefully they do well. So guys, as you can see, Lori uh, is working diligently hard on the gift shop area. Lori, how do you think it's coming? I think it looks beautiful, huh? It's, it's a lot coming. of work. It's coming. It's coming. It's a lot of definitely work. Definitely not there yet, but it's coming. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. I mean, you guys can kind of get an idea. Obviously, yeah. we have our Isabella and Salt and Matilda, but then these are all the other things that we have in the gift shop. These things are so cool. There's so many cool animals. I love. Look at how cool that is. Of course, Reptarium shirts are finally going to be available. Are they going to be on the website? Uh, no, they're separate ones. There's ones on the website, website that ship direct ones. to you. These are ones purchased here only. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yep. So, and then of course we've got hats now and all kinds of other stuff and little tortoises. So, uh, again, the gift shop area is definitely coming together. Uh, be ready tonight. I hope so. <laughs> All right. so what an eventful day, right? I mean, obviously a lot of work, just a couple days left before the grand opening of the Reptarium, which we're so excited about. And guess what? The BHB season is officially underway with eggs. I mean, you know, mangrove eggs are awesome. We've got a couple more clutches coming. It's pretty incredible. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed it. Appreciate you guys so much. Did you know that I have a podcast? If you didn't, it's called Checking In. You can subscribe to it right over there. We have podcasts. I think you're going to enjoy it. Here's a playlist of a bunch of vlogs you guys can roll through if you 
so choose. Subscribe to the vlog channel right there. Turn those post notifications on for me. Have an absolutely wonderful day and be kind to someone. I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.